Alright, so just doing a test on how fast the auto AF is, it's pretty quick. Focus out, focus back to Sierra very fast. And Sierra, can you move a little bit to your, your left, your right? Yeah, so it's very quick to follow. Very quick. One, two, and three. Okay, let's look at the photos. I've been shooting with this camera, the Nikon ZFC, for about 10 to 15 minutes. So far, first impressions is I like that it's very lightweight. Nikon Z doesn't have that much lenses out right now, so I'm using the Viltrox 56 1.4 lens, which is equivalent to an 85 1.8 full frame camera. This really reminds me of the Nikon DF that I used to have. I had one in silver, then I had one in black later on, but uh, the diff main difference is, is the Nikon DF is full frame and this Nikon ZF is APS-C, which is a smaller sensor. Uh, so supposedly people think the smaller the sensor, not that good image quality. But the images that we are getting from this camera looks pretty good. And the model to help us test this camera out today is... So hi, I'm Sierra. I've been modeling. This is my second time modeling. Second time in front of the camera, yes. Yep. And... Um, any social media because okay. uh, i know our subscribers most likely will want to follow you okay so you guys yeah. can follow me at, on my instagram at sierra.sn we'll put it here yeah. and in the description below how do you like the photos so far coming out from the camera i really love these photos everything just pops the colors popping mm -hmm. from them it, sh it really shows great a lot of detail too yes well. i noticed also when you were zooming in zooming out mm -hmm. Uh, just swiping to go from picture to picture. The touchscreen seems really responsive. And uh, I notice also the focusing when it picks up your eye, I did eye autofocus detection. It seems quicker than the older camera I used to have, the Nikon Z7 Mark II. So I'm assuming maybe the smaller sensor is easier for the processor inside to compute. And so the autofocus is more snappier. But that's just my first impressions um, with the camera uh, so far using it. Uh, so we have about 30 more minutes in this outfit. We're gonna go over to street level and shoot. And then we are going to work our way down to the beach and then you'll be in your second outfit. Okay. Some physical features of this camera is it's built with a robust magnesium alloy chassis. The body is very light but strong at the same time. Uh, the styling of it is also really attractive, kind of old school film-like. The weight of it is really light. I believe it's only 390 grams. That's pretty light. Uh, so far in this part of the photo shoot, any comments uh, Sierra about the uh, camera itself or pictures coming out from it? Pictures have a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. Also, I love like the retro design yes. of this camera. I think it may be coming back. Yeah, I think actually, so too. I I see a lot of um, um, I guess around like your age, maybe teens. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of going back to like the '90s look in a way, and so there's a lot of like teens also using like Polaroid cameras. Yep. Yeah, so I think um, if they made it maybe a little bit more affordable because I think it still goes for about almost $1,000 for this camera, like 900 some, yeah, almost 1,000. So if they made it uh, maybe a little bit more affordable, then of course the, the younger generation um, will be like grabbing this camera just because of the way it looks. And I think this could also be like a good travel camera as well because of, of its lightweight. Yeah. Okay, we still have a few more minutes um, on the street level before we go on to the beach, we'll keep on shooting. So some of the physical features uh, is the electronic viewfinder. It is 2.36 million dots. Uh, when I look through it, it is, it is actually pretty clear. The top dials of the camera from left to right, uh, this is the ISO dial. Then moving to the right side, you have the shutter speed dial, 
And then the last L on the way right is actually the exposure compensation. Uh, Sierra, if you, if you can try to turn it, uh, the last dial, yeah. It's actually pretty hard to turn, so which is good. So you don't, you won't be accidentally bumping the exposure composition dial. And then you have the shutter button that's a nice silver button there. And then you have the movie record button um, there with that uh, orange reddish dot. The back of the camera, the screen isn't that nice. Uh, Sierra, if you can turn it on, please, by pressing the play button on the upper left. Yeah, the screen is um, one million dots. Uh, but I do like the responsive touch uh, screen. Uh, you can uh, show some, yes, yeah, very responsive when Sierra is going through it. And if you notice um, when Sierra rub, uh, scrubbed the bottom, the way bottom screen, you can actually scrub through the photos pretty quickly. And it loads um, pretty fast. Uh, same thing like you're using a phone, pinch to zoom, uh, go in and go out re really quick. Um, double tap to zoom in. Uh, you can try it again, yeah, double tap to zoom in, double tap to zoom out, yeah, pretty responsive. Uh, bottom of the camera is the battery door. Uh, it's not like the Nikon DF where you kind of twist and open like a film camera, uh, but you do have your good sized battery and single SD card only. And I believe that is only UHS-1. I need to double check on that. And on the left side of the camera is the door that has the HDMI, USB-C, no headphone jack, but microphone jack. So my channel features is, this has an APS-C sensor. It is 20.9 megapixels. It has about 209 all-focus hybrid uh, points in here. The ISO goes from, I have it set at 100, so minimum is 100, from 100 to 51,000. And I believe the boost ISO is about 400,000 ISO. It can do about 11 frames per second burst. And a cool thing about the USB-C port here is if you just have one battery like I do, you can just charge the battery internally using a USB-C portable charger. Uh, so we're done with this portion of the photo shoot. Uh, Sierra's gonna change into her second outfit and then head out to the beach. All right, we're just waiting for Sierra to come down here in her second outfit, but we're gonna test out the video capabilities of the Nikon ZFC. It does the oversampled 4K video and uses the full sensors width for a very sharp picture. But remember, the ZFC does not have IBIS, in-body image stabilization. back a little bit with your hair down. Uh, yes. Uh, can you also try to move hair from your shoulders? Okay, uh, leave the frame. Okay, come back in. So I autofocus picks up pretty quick. I have electronic stabilization on. Okay, Sierra, can you walk towards down that way? Okay, I'm walking. Can you please turn around? Uh, you can stop, it detects your eye. Going closer, it's still focusing on you and it focuses pretty quick. Can you walk and then do a spin? Okay, okay you can do a spin. Good, not, not bad. 
Okay, this is with the Tronic stabilization off. Uh, Sierra, can you please uh, leave the frame and come back? Okay, please come back in the frame. Okay, catches on pretty quick. Okay, please walk down towards that way. Again, no stabilization, so it's a little bit rocky. Uh, please turn around, Sierra. Good, come in close. Can you do a spin? Good, look. Good, captures eye pretty good. All right, we are done with our photo shoot. Uh, Sierra, what did you think about the photo shoot overall? I know sun has set already. Uh, I did notice with this camera, even though the sun has set and it's pretty dark, you can even see the hotel lights on over there. The images that's coming out from it, uh, the exposure seems really good, even though it's dark and it doesn't seem as noisy. Uh, but it does seem like it's producing <clears throat> clean images in this dark setting. But what did you think about the photo shoot overall? I really loved it. Awesome. Um, you guys, you're very patient. Oh yes, uh, you have to be. By posing. <laughs> yeah, you did really good. Yes, thank good you. Good job. Welcome. And I think the pictures turned out really good too. Yes, I think so too. And our viewers, while watching the video, they'll be seeing the edited photos mm -hmm. while we're shooting uh, when you do the poses. But uh, good job in posing. Did really good today. Uh, again, your Instagram for those who want to follow you. Um, so my Instagram is sierra.sm. Thank you, everyone. And if you haven't, please subscribe to Guam Photography. All right, I just want to show you some RAW files for the Nikon ZFC. And the first couple of photos, I'll show you how good the colors are coming out from this camera. And the last photo is just a sample of the dynamic range. So for the first photo, you will notice when you load this file, um, NF, NEF raw file into Lightroom, it is Adobe Colors color profile, but if you click down here and go to camera standard, the file pretty much just comes to life and the colors are really nice, especially with the um, skin tones in this camera standard profile. In order to have this in drop down menu, you would click the profile browser and underneath camera matching, you will go down to standard and you would favorite this. And when you favorite the camera standard, now when you click the camera profile, it'll be here uh, at the way bottom camera standard. Next example, same thing, profile uh, default is Adobe color. Clicking it, camera standard. Wow, that's a huge difference. Again, let's do before. And then again, camera standard. Very nice. And this lens, the Viltrox uh, 56 1.4, it's a very, it, it's it's a sharp uh, lens wide open, but also the bokeh is pretty smooth. And I actually like this lens. Uh, last photo, again, this is default, reset, nothing has been done to it. Lowering down the highlights, you get some of the sky back here in the background. Increasing the shadows, you can get a lot of detail in Sierra's hair. Um, but yes, dynamic range here is very good. Exposure all the way down, exposure all the way up. A lot of dynamic range uh, to play with. But again, um, let's uh, change your profile from Adobe Color to Camera Standard. There we go. It looks like a whole lot better with the Camera Standard profile. Thank you for watching Guam Photography. And if you haven't, please subscribe.